Hello, my name is Russell and welcome to Windows Business Weekly. Today I'm going to show you how you can protect Windows 10 from ransomware using a free built-in feature called Controlled Folder Access. I'll show you how to enable it, how you can add folders to the protected list and how you can exclude applications that get blocked. Ransomware encrypts the files and folders on your computer and then the hacker demands a ransom in exchange for a decryption key. And this is the only way to restore your data. Controlled folder access is designed to block that encryption process should Windows 10 become infected with ransomware. And of course, prevention is always better than cure. Ransomware has been one of the most prevalent forms of malware in the last few years, and it's responsible for billions of dollars of damage to computer systems around the world. It doesn't matter whether you're a large organization or a small company, their attacks are automated and they can strike you at any time. If you find the content in this video useful, please subscribe to my channel and give this clip a thumbs up. Controlled folder access works with Windows Defender real-time protection to determine whether applications have a good reputational score and if they are pervasive on the internet. If not, then controlled folder access will block these applications from making unauthorized changes to your files and folders. Controlled folder access also learns about your line of business applications to make sure that they are not blocked. So let's head over to the PC and look at how to set up controlled folder access. Controlled folder access is part of Windows Defender. So we need to start by opening the Windows Security Center. And to do that, you just type Windows Security into the search box and then click Windows Security in the list of results. In the Windows Security Center, let's click Virus and Threat Protection. Then at the bottom of the window, we need to click Manage Ransomware Protection. Here we can toggle controlled folder access on and off. So let's switch it on and click Yes if we're asked to provide consent. Clicking on Protected Folders lets us see the folders that are currently being protected. Again, we need to give consent if user account control is enabled. Here we can see a list of the protected folders and we can add our own folders. On this PC, I have a folder in the root of the C drive called Demo that I would like to protect. So I can choose it and then click Select Folder. And now you can see it's been added to the list of protected folders. And now I'm going to show you what's inside the Demo folder on this PC. So let's open up File Explorer, come down to the C drive, and here you can see the Demo folder. And in there, there is a text file that I'm using to store all of my secrets. Now, I already have some ransomware downloaded on this PC and I'm going to run it. And within a few seconds, you should see a warning appear in the Action Center. And there you see a notification telling us that unauthorized changes have been blocked. So if I open the Action Center and then click on that notification, it's going to take us back to the protection history page in the Windows Security Center. And here I can see a list of all the blocked actions. So if I click on the most recent blocked event and then provide consent, we get more detail about what was happening and I can also opt to create an exception for that application. So if I click on the Actions drop-down menu, I'm going to allow this application to run on this device. And again, I need to provide consent to add that to the exceptions list. Now let's run the ransomware again and see what happens when it's excluded from controlled folder access. So I'm going to double click the ransomware to launch it. And now you see we get a message in the browser telling us that it successfully encrypted our files. So let's come back to the demo folder on the C drive and see what's actually going on there. And as you can see, the contents of the folder has completely changed and there's an encrypted version of the secrets text file. So back in the Windows Security Center, if I click allow an app through controlled folder access and then provide consent, 
I can either add another application or remove any existing applications. So I'm going to remove that ransomware from our list of exceptions. And that's how you can use controlled folder access to protect your Windows 10 systems from ransomware. Controlled folder access can also be configured using group policy and PowerShell. So if that's something you'd be interested in, please drop me a line in the comments below. If you found the content in this video useful, please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.